Hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. Uh, welcome back to a very special show. Oh yes, this show is all about the Craft Along. And it is, as always, going to feature one of our most recent launches here at Crafters TV and one of our most successful recent launches, I would say. It has been amazing. The creator card dies have been so, so exceptional. There are so many different things uh, that you can do with them. I've got just a few examples out here of all of the awesome uh, ideas and card concepts that you're going to create. Uh, they are so incredibly gorgeous. They are beautiful. I know lots of you already own these, which is the reason, of course, we are doing this craft along, but I would love for you to send me in your pictures of what you have been creating with these dies. If you want to do that, you can do so very easily by sending an email uh, containing those pictures to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, if you want to chat with me as we go through, absolutely, you can do that, of course, over on Facebook, Crafters TV, uh, across on YouTube as well. But I know, I know that you guys are so excited uh, to craft along in real time uh, with my TV wife. It is, of course, Debbie Fisher. How are you, Debbie? I'm good, Joe. Hi, everyone. I'm super excited, Joe. Uh, it's my first craft class. It's not craft class, craft along. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, and I'm really excited because I get to use these beautiful Create Card dies. These are, honestly, I think I could say they're my favourite so far. Mm, Amazing. They are beautiful. Mm, yep. Uh, now, I know you've got a few things over there you want to share with us, Debbie, uh, and I know uh, you're going to take us through a very exciting uh, craft along demonstration, aren't you? Yeah, and I'm hoping, I really wanted um, to be able to show you a completely new concept, but it is one that I've pinched off of one of our design teams, so uh, I will give her a, a big shout out. Uh, but I'm just going to show you some of what the creator cards do. They say creator card, which is exactly what they do. They create the full frontal part of your card. So just being able to cut that into a curved piece of card, having it as a beautiful bow front, uh, so we call it a dome front card, oh nearly not the guillotine flying, uh, having it onto a topper on the front of a card is another beautiful way of doing it. Maybe creating that gorgeous scene where we're doing those sort of tunnel vision cards uh, where it's through. I mean how beautiful does that look? These are just done in black and white. Maybe actually taking them step by step so you do two Two different cutouts so you're creating uh, a lot of texture in that one and a lot of levels to look through maybe creating them straight on the front of a uh, stepper card so you've got that side stepper card with a focal point you can see you can see right through it so these can be cut directly into the front of your cardstock which is amazing I absolutely love this one I think it's a really beautiful design uh, and there's just another different way uh, of doing these cards look how amazing that card looks Beautiful. with that poking out of there looks really incredible uh, just having them onto your card fronts are amazing I love this balloon one something a little bit different um, uh, apologies I think this one has already sold out but it shows you just a way that we can do it um, and then I'm going to show you one more which is the butterfly one which is the one that we're going to be using in our craft along and these are on the front so that is the actual uh, creator card con what we class as a concept suite. So first of all, I'm going to show you this card. So this is from Joanne uh, Jameson Larkin. She created this card when we had the silhouette animal dies out. And I love this. It would stand up on its own. I thought it was a really clever, unique card base. So I've adapted this. And what we are going to do is this beautiful card here. So we're going to do it step by step. And you can see, so the whole concept of Joanne's card here where it pulls out the side is the same as what we've done at this side. So you can see pulling it out, but we've got this really large extended card and then that beautiful creator card in the center piece. And it all stands flat. But if you did want to take it to a different level, I've made this sort of shaker card, which has just been with, uh, made with acetate. But again, doing it on a different piece, taking that same element and doing that same concept you're going to be able to take all your cards to a different extreme I mean how amazing do these cards look Joe and something just totally different but they allow them to free stand absolutely awesome. lovely so we're going to put the butterfly one together then in real time in which uh, uh, a speed that everyone's going to
going to keep up with us. So we want everyone to craft along with us, Debbie, don't we? We absolutely do, yes. So you're going to be crafted along a step by step. Please let me know or let Joe know if, we're, if I'm going a little bit too fast. I'm going to really slow my pace down. We're going to do everything right from the first bit of cutting our card to the scoring to going through step by step of the way, uh, which is going to take us a, probably a good hour to get that done, Joe. Awesome. Now, if you want to join in, it isn't too late. Uh, we're going to give you about another mm, five, ten minutes, I'd say, to get yourself all set up and done. Uh, and we've got a list for you of everything that you are going to need. So here it is. Uh, your Gemini credit card is the butterfly love that we're going to use here. Uh, you're also going to need a die cutting machine. So your midi, your junior, your large. Uh, you could use your pro if you wanted to. Uh, the all occasions banners, which I know most of you already own. Those are going to be needed. Uh, you've got the white stamping card. Debbie's going to use the Temporary watercolour pad and the warm tones. I'm guessing any 12 by 12 paper and card pad would work though, would it? Oh, if you wanted to adapt it, to absolutely, adapt it. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you can use whatever colours you want. Awesome. Uh, and then the finessing pad with the flagstone. She's going to use the fuchsia opaque pigment ink pad. Some other bits that you'll need from across your stash are, of course, your scoreboard and scoring tool, your large guillotine, your scissors, the collar tacky glue, the date. The tape, I'll try that again, dotty tape pen, uh, the 4x4 stamping platform, and also an ink blending tool. Right, loads of you chatting away and saying hi. Jill is in from North Yorkshire. Hi, Jill. Uh, Pamela's in from Southern California. So cow in the house. Uh, Pamela's in, uh, sorry, Rosalind's in from Maryland. Karen in Kentucky. Rebecca in Washington. Margaret's in from Rosyth. Did I say that right, Margaret? Rosyth? Uh, Rosalind says, uh, I love the shirt, Joe. Uh, Rebecca also says, I love your shirt today. Diane says, I've, the shirt is very spring. We are channeling the sunshine today, aren't we, Debbie? We certainly are. Denise says, good morning, everyone. I really, really love this collection. Uh, and Sandra says, just got my dyes. I'm a complete newbie, so so looking forward to this show. Well, Sandra, you are in the right place. Place. As we go through this craft along, if you need us to speed up, you need us to slow down, you need us to recap any of the information, you can just let me know in the comments over on Crafts TV on Facebook or across on YouTube, one of our social media superstars, it's SJ in the house today, uh, will pick that up for us as well. And Sue says, wow, Joe, that shirt is fabulous. Thank you so much. Um, it's very stunning. And Craig was wearing orange as well this morning, you see, so we, we did matchy-matchy. That was what it was all about. Now, I know that most of you already own this beautiful collection. However, if you want to go for them, uh, then absolutely you can. It is not too late because remember, as with all of our shows here at Crafts TV, you can watch all of them back at a later date. So if you wanted to maybe do this craft along next weekend and you wanted to get the product now, you could absolutely come back next weekend and then sit down and watch this and pause it and restart it and rewind it completely at your leisure. I know that some of you watch these shows and you watch it and absorb it and then later you go back and you craft along with us or some of you craft along straight off. If you are crafting along with us in the show, I really want you to send in pictures at the end as well of what you've created. Let me take you through. If you want to go for the collection and we've still got the collection available for you, look at the whacking great size of those dies they are huge and the great thing is that you can cut the detail out or you can of course uh, cut the detail in as well here which is fantastic now I don't have a board for this one but it is the moon and the stars that you are getting that one's not included is it in no it is included I'm, I'm making it up aren't I that one is in included so you're gonna get the moon and the stars in there as well this is gorgeous when it's done with uh, things like oh sparkling it's in the background check that out how beautiful is that? Absolutely. And we've got a bit of foiling going on in there as well, which I love. So you're getting that one. You're also going to get the rustic roses. Now, I mean, floral is always so, so popular. And these, of course, are amazing. Let me turn it the right way up. There you are. And you can see exactly what you've got there. You can cut it in or you can cut it out. It's completely up to you. Schmetterlings. Uh, you can never have too many Schmetterlings in uh, Schmetterling Lieber, as I believe what we'd call this. Uh, love Schmetterling. I'm not sure if that's how it translates directly, but you get, you, get the, you get the idea. And what you're going to get are the banners. Now, these are awesome because what you can do is you're able to mix and match these and build them up, and then you've got the banners. That you could, you're right over there? Yep. Okay. <laughs> you've got the, <laughs> the banners then as well that you can cut out. I thought you'd hurt yourself for a moment. I was concerned. Uh, so you've got all of those. Now, there, are, there is one that is not, of, not in the main collection. It was a six-piece collection. I'm going to be completely honest with you when we launched it. However, the cross, the ornate cross, totally sold out and when. Uh, we do still have the take flight. However, 
we don't have many of this one available, so we've taken it out. Now, they're $16.99 or $19.95 each, or any two for $30 or $37. Remember, if you're spending over £30 or dollars, you're going to receive a £5 or dollar discount, which is brilliant, uh, so make sure you take advantage of that. You can either go for the four-piece and add this one in, or, you know, maybe if you want to just go for four, maybe there's one in that collection that you're not so fussed about, then you could go for uh, four of them uh, and add this one in instead of one of those ones. However, this one is limited stock, so if you want this one, you will need to be quick for it. So uh, do bear that in mind. I would also say as well that there's lots of other stuff uh, available to you in this show. As always, it's a great idea to go across to our website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.au, click that Shop the Show button and have a look at everything that is coming up in this show. Some of the stuff that we may not even get to. Right, I'm just checking with everyone that everyone is uh, ready and um, we will see. I think, you know, Debbie, I think it might be time to take it away. Craft along. Craft along, <laughs> craft away. Are you ready to craft along? Hopefully everyone's cheering. Yay, let's go. So, I think they are. First of I, can, all, I can feel it. I can feel the energy can feel coming it. off of them. Feel I can. the energy, yeah. That heat is radiating through our screens. Everyone's poised with their guillotine, with their first piece of white cardstock. So, I'm using our Stampin' white cardstock. It's my go to cardstock. It's beautifully. Um, uh, in its texture uh, and it's robust, it's 300 GSM. What you're going to do is you're going to trim this down to seven inches. So I'm going to run this through my guillotine. So you're going to do this on the, so you want to keep your A4 size, but we want to take it. So I'm not going to six, six and a half, seven. And I'm going to line it up on the seven inch and we're going to trim that to seven inches. So we've got our first piece of card. So I'm going to. Pop so you're that not taking anything side. off the length, just off the width, no, trimming the just, width down. Yeah, exactly. So you're just going to take that piece away uh, and discard that. You don't need that, or keep it for something else. Next, we're going to take our scoreboard. Now I've got my large scoreboard, but you can use any scoreboard that you've got. So, uh, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to then score. Um, so right. So let's start. Off. This is our main piece of card, and we're going to do this twice because we need two pieces of this. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go along to seven inches and I'm going to put a little notch there Joe just a little tiny notch just so I uh, you can use a pencil if you need to see that uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my four inch line here uh, and I'm going to run my scoring tool down let me just bring that down so you can see. So four inches, bring that down and then place your card back there. Then you're gonna score on that four inch line. And I would say maybe just a couple of inches up. That's all you need to do for, okay, the, okay. for the moment. And then we're gonna rotate this round. So you're gonna turn it round onto the left side and you're gonna score at four inches. And four inches to this line that we've already scored. And then you turn that back round, Joe, to finish that off. So it creates that square. So you can see that, uh, we can see that absolutely perfectly. So what you want is a four by four inch square in that corner. Now, remember we've scored that little notch there at seven inches. What we need to do is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, on that seven inches, I'm gonna hold my score line with my um, scoring tool and bring that down because where that notch is, I'm gonna line that up and I'm gonna also then line up this corner to where my, my line is. Now, that didn't have to be on the seven inches. All I need that to do is go from this piece and it needs to cross diagonally through the center. So what you need to do is then just pull that down and that gives me my diagonal line. So all the way through all and all the way, the way through. up. So I hope that makes sense. So do you want so, to just recap that again? Absolutely. Would you mind, Debbie? Yes, let's do that again. So we've trimmed our card to seven inches. We're then going across seven inches and we've put a little notch. When you've done that notch, you're gonna take your scoring tool onto the four inch marker, bring this down, and then we're gonna come up four inches on that line. And does it matter how high up you come there or do you have to find the centre point the there at that point? The only reason I don't do it longer, Joe, is why I always say go up a couple of inches yeah. because then, because otherwise you could be putting another extra score line in and you don't want that. Okay. So just go up a couple of inches, 
then turn it round and then that way you've got a vision then of where your point is yeah. because then you come down four inches again in line with this line and then you can match that line back can, up then you match that line back up so all you want is that square so what you're actually doing is just creating a square in that line but this fold line must go completely through the center and that then that fold line where how far along the cardstock should that that Seven inches. Like, that's the at little seven notch inches. we put cool. at seven inches. If yes. Melanie Smith's got a question, if she started off with a 12 by 12 piece of paper, mm -hmm. not a, a four piece of paper, yeah. it would be seven inches wide by how long, Debbie? By eight and two. By 8.2 inches. Yes. Wonderful. 8 so 8.2 inches, 8 which is inches the Melanie. the size of a A4 cardstock. Cool. Yes. Okay. All right. Brilliant. Well, I think everyone's following thus far. Brilliant. Yeah. Nice and easy. And yeah, we're Diane asked the same as well. So 8.2 by 7 is the, the base yeah, card. Yeah, 8.2 by 7. Yes. Awesome. Uh, and, and actually, the only reason I've got that size card is so we can fit our... So if I bring this in, Joe, this card is a completely different shape. Can you see? Yeah. We've took that completely different. And the only difference is, is is what this piece, I wanted to get a different piece of create a card into this side, which means I've still got my four inch square, but I'm, I have to fold it through that line, but it just creates a completely different type of uh, card. So even if you've got a 12 by 12, you might even find that you could then uh, put in that extra. Now, the only reason I've used this cardstock and not a piece of 12 by 12 is because I want to then use my 12 by 12 cards and we're going to show you how to mat and layer onto our card blank as well. Kathy's so asking if we're working in inches or metric centimetres. Always inches always pretty much, inches, isn't it? Yeah, I always, well, we always tend to work in inches here. Um, but if you have got the centimetres, so we've got centimetres on the opposite side of the board, I could give you those as well. Um, so let's see, in centimetres, we're talking 10 centimetres. So this would be 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. Uh, and then going along, it looks like it's just about 18 centimetres going from that line there. So awesome. 18 centimetres is where your notch will be. So not Brilliant. a problem if you're doing it in inches or centimetres. But actually you can't go wrong as long as your line goes through that centre of the square. Now the next thing we're going to do is do our folding. And we are going to uh, recap this because we need two pieces of this card, Joe. Okay. So we're going to recap that in a little while. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our scoring. So I'm going to bring my card in here so I can see what we're, what we're so I can explain it to you uh, better. You're going to fold this piece of card, this piece here. So all you do is grab that piece of card and you're going to just fold that into the centre. You could actually put it down and just bring in your card, your um, your scoring tool just to burnish. But only as far as the square then, only not as far past as that. The square, yeah, only as far as this bit. So we don't need to worry too much about this one. And then what we're going to do, we're going to fold this line in on itself. So you cool. fold this line in and what will happen, Joe, is you'll see it automatically wants to fold. Okay. So I'm just going to burnish this line in. So pop that line in and then all you do is hold your hand on the top and fold it down. Okay. And that gives you your fold. How awesome. How Can you just take amazing. us through that again, Debbie? Absolutely. So what you're going to do is pinch this piece here. Yep. Fold that in. So you score this line here. And then you're going to fold this line forward. And as you fold forward, this bit, so I'm going to hold it with this hand, push that down, and that will automatically fold in. So not a problem at all. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to burnish those corners in. And actually, you've made your card. So when you stand it up, that will stand up. So if you want to just do a single one, boom, you're there. You're there. That's it. Awesome. So if you just, so we've done, if I bring this one in, can you see this one is that single one? Beautiful. So you've done that. No, but I mean, how quick is that? Really, really quick. So if anyone missed anything there then, mm -hmm. Debbie. Let's recap it. The best thing is just going to do it again. <laughs> Fabulous. It again. So you need to make two of them. Absolutely. Now, what's really good about this card, so I will just explain this. If you um, are finding that fiddly or it's taking you a little while longer, just do the one. 
just do the one and then you can add the other one on at a later time so it really doesn't matter uh, because it is exactly the same but we're going to fold it slightly the opposite way so I'm going to pop this bit to the side I'm going to bring in another piece of white cardstock and we're just going to repeat exactly what we just done so first of all you've got your cardstock we're going to bring in our guillotine and we're going to trim that to seven inches so taking that up going across i've got my six and a half and seven now you want these pieces identical because you are going to join these together so they will attach one to the other Again, you don't need this strip. So we've then got an eight by two, uh, an 8.2 inch uh, by a seven inches. Is, is 8.2, is it point, is it two eighths of an inch? Two eighths of an inch. It is two eighths yes, of an inch. Okay, okay inch. brilliant. Yes. So we're going to pop this onto our board and then what we're going to do is go to our seven inch line. So I'll bring that down. My seven inches is here. I'm going to put a little tag, a little notch there. Um, now, if you are doing this a completely different size, the only reason I've got a seven inch one there is because I've worked out it's what goes through my center line. So whatever, la whatever the size of your card is, just make sure that your notch is where it goes through a center line. So on to that little notch then we're gonna put our pokey or key corner pokey tool put our scoring tool down on the number four we're gonna come down that line and then we're gonna go up and score up just a few inches up there not too high you're then gonna rotate your card round again on that four score line so four inches come down in line with this line here and then take that back round and then we can continue that line up to make our square so really nice and simple I'm just making sure I get all my score lines in there then we go back to that notch which is at number seven I'm going to take it to number seven and bring my scoring tool down the board because I want it in line with this piece here right on the edge the diagonal and the notch I'm going to put to my seven at the top so making sure I've got that exactly in the center, I can then, and what you could do to check, you could just do a really faint line and that's perfect. You can see that line goes straight through that square. Now, if you were slightly off on these measurements, mm -hmm. wouldn't, would it really make a huge no, amount of difference? Well, actually, I'm glad you asked that, Joe, because there's something that you can do if you're slightly off on your measurements. Oh, okay. So let's uh, show you exactly how we do that. I'm going to pop that to one side. So that's all the scoring you need for your cards. So whether you're doing a single card or whether you're doubling them up like we're doing. This time, though, my score lines need to go the opposite way. So we're going to turn that then round. Can you see? So we've then got this piece here, but we need this one to go the opposite way. So we're going to do the same as what we did before you're going to pinch this piece here to bend this piece of card in and then you're just going to score along that line so what I'm going to do is just using my tool I don't need to use my tool I'm just going to pinch that in on that line and then this line here we're going to bend forward so Joe if you are slightly out what you would do is when you come to this bit, let's say what would happen, you might get it like this. Can you see that end where right. you've got a slight gap? That's what would happen. You can't You're really... just off by a fly's eyelash. Yes. All you would then do is force your card, sort of bring your card down into that line and ah, then and, and then, then re score re -fold it. it. You can refold it onto that line. Okay, awesome. Then what we're gonna do is bring this one line in. And if it's out on this piece, you can then just bring it in so it's in line with that bottom and rescore it. So it's so that's, all about making sure you don't have a wonky bottom is the yeah, way forward. It certainly is. We don't want a wonky bottom. Awesome. So this time what we're going to do, as we fold that in, this bit will automatically just fold forward. So it will just come in all together. Right. And then we're just going to reinforce those score lines to make sure that that stands beautifully. Awesome. Just and that one more point. two pieces. Could we just go over? 
over the size, there's just some, some little bit of confusion on the measurements. Could we go over mm -hmm. the size of the base card again uh, in inches, uh, yep. Debbie, and also just once more where those folds are going to be Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yep, that's a really good idea. So I have, what I've done here is I've worked them out onto paper for you, onto card. So it's an A4 piece of white card and we've trimmed it to seven inches. So what you've got is your seven inches down the side and then this is A4 which is eight and two increments of an inch across cool. the top. We've then put a little dash at seven inches and then we're scoring, oh now we'll do this again, we're scoring at four inches across and down. So let me just, there's, is there a confusion over it? Is it It's near? 11. Oh, that's, uh, of it's course. 11 why and 2 eighths, that? isn't it? Do you know what, I, right, that's absolutely, that's me. That's why there's confusion. <laughs> it's 8-2 on the short side. Ah, uh, okay, so it's 8 so and 2 eighths. I was doing the wrong one. So yeah, it's 8 and 2, two eighths of an inch is the shorter side that we're trimming down to 7 inches. So I do apologise, that was me. Uh, the actual length of a A4 is actually 11 and 3 quarters of an inch. 11 and 3 quarters. So, so I do 11 Seven and three quarters, and you're just going to trim mm -hmm. the longest side down to seven, seven. inches. Yeah, awesome. absolutely. Yes. Okie doke. That well, was my, my confusion. Not a problem at all, Debbie. I, I think then, uh, in that case, Debbie, if it's all right with you, we'll take a little bit of a pause there then, if that's all right. Give everyone absolutely. a little bit of a chance to mm -hmm. get caught up. So we'll just have a gossip then now. We can just sit, we Ooh, just have yeah. a sit down on the sofas and have a chat. It sounds perfect. Oh, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> Georgina's got other ideas. Okay. Uh, what have we got to do, sorry, Georgina? Okay, we're going to go through the collection. Right, I was just happy to go and have a sit down on the sofas, Georgine. No, <laughs> okay, you sure? Oh, we can't do that, I'm afraid. Anyway, right, <laughs> I'm only joking. Let me share with you, I'm in a very trying mood today, aren't I? Let me share with you the collection because of course if you're looking at this and thinking they are absolutely beautiful you can still grab this now and you'll be able to watch this craft along back whenever whenever the products come i must say we're on a very quick turnaround at the moment with all deliveries even to the us let me know actually in the comments how quickly things are getting to you guys in the us at the moment i know it is super speedy uh, so you've got that one you've also got the rustic roses in there uh you've also got as well this one which I think, is this one called the moon and the stars or am I, have I, have I made a mistake? I think it is called the moon and the stars. Oh, someone will check that for me. Uh, we've also then got the gorgeous church here for you as well. It's called moon and stars, boom. Uh, you've got the church in there as well. What you also then have is this one here, which is your banners, uh, all occasion banners. It's basically sentiments for all occasions, some little embellishing stamps in there. You've then got the banners to cut these out as well. So you'll make these lovely little tags and plaques, which is awesome. Now, uh, one that we have not so many of, so we don't have enough of it is this one which is the take flight if you want to go for the take flight or any of the others actually individually for that matter you can they're 16.99 or 19.95 two for 30 or 37 dollars remember as well if you're spending over 30 pounds or dollars you'll receive a five pound or dollar discount which is absolutely awesome that will all happen at checkout for you now let me know is there anything you want repeated uh, is, are we going at a good speed for you you can let me know by popping over to the comments on Facebook or of course uh, across on YouTube as well drop in there one of our social media superstars is SJ uh, today will pop those over to me the lovely Sarah Jane uh, so yeah I'll tell you what I'm going to do give you a little chance just to finish off the scoring and the folding whilst we do that why don't we share with you all the details of Club Inspire welcome to Club Inspire our free loyalty club as a member of the club you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us for every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership where you'll get 10% discount plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points you'll become a gold member which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order and will ship them to you completely free no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. 
when you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money-saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. You just heard us having a bit of a natter there, didn't you? Uh, right, um, can Debbie please show the folding one more time? Ask uh, Teresa, is that all right if we do that, Debbie? Absolutely, Brilliant. and we are going to show it again because we need it for a template. So um, uh, hopefully, so if you do need to catch up, please let us know because we can sort of stop and um, uh, and even do it again. I d it doesn't matter how many times we've got to do it because we need another one for a template. Awesome. Um, uh, and it means then we can uh, chop up our then card pad that we're bringing in to get our mats and layers preserved. Size. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to take an A, uh, A4 piece of cardstock and I do apologise for my measurements earlier, I was thinking of this side and it's not. You want to keep the length of this which is 11 and 3 quarters and we're going to trim the longest part down or the shortest part down to 7 inches. So it's the 8 and 2 increments of an inch that I was thinking of and that's what we're trimming down to 7 inches. Awesome. So trim that down to seven inches. And I'll take this one a lot slower so you can see exactly what we are doing. So what we're going to do to start off with, we're going to take our piece of card, we're going to place the shortest end up against, shortest end up against uh, the ridge here. We're then going to put a little notch and if it does help you, you could put a little pencil line that you can rub out. So I'm just putting a little notch there on the seven inches. Next what we're going to do, we're going to place our scoring tool onto number four, so four inches and we're going to run that down our board then place our cardstock back on butt it up against the side and we're going to come up from that score line so that's from the four inches i'm not going all the way to a four inch mark just in case i go over so just pop that scoring line into there we're going to rotate our card so and put that and place our longer end against our scoreboard and then we're going to come down again at four inches and then we're going to line up to the line that we've just done. You have got a gap at the moment because we're going to line that up afterwards. So putting in that uh, score line, turn it back round and then score back up. And then you get that perfect four inch square in the corner of your card. And that's the most important piece. The next important piece you need to do is you need a diagonal line going straight from corner to corner and then coming along this mark here. So the notch that we put in at seven inches, we're gonna then place, I'm gonna keep on the seven inch score line so you don't uh, get confused. We're gonna come down that seven inch score line and we're gonna, and if it's easier for anybody, you could actually, in fact, shall we do it, Joe? So for people that maybe will find it a little bit easier, let's actually draw in a faint line. Okay. So from that line, we can go from corner to corner. I'm just bringing in a pencil. You want to go from this corner here and we want to place it to that other. In fact, you wouldn't even need that notch. You just need to know you're going through that diagonal piece there. So I can just then draw a line straight the way through. So that probably makes it a lot easier and you can probably see a lot better. So you could draw a ruler line with a pencil going through. Bring in your scoreboard. Again, you can choose your mark where you're going to run this down. And I've chosen my seven again. Then you can put in, I'm just going to turn this mine round because I want the smaller end of the tool. Uh, and I'm going to line that line up with my seven inches at the top here. And I know I've got seven inches at the bottom. And then you can score right along that line. So that's much easier. So I should have done that in the first 
first instance and you can see so that's exactly what we need our four inch square here and then your folded line that goes through perfect so hopefully you've got that the next thing you're going to do is you're going to pinch this line so we're going to pinch it so that line comes forward awesome and then we're just going to use our fingers to go down that line to fold that crease in this line here needs to fold forward and this is when you then make sure that your line across the bottom here is lined up and then you can go in with your scoring tool to burnish those lines. Now while you're holding this bit down, this bit will automatically move forward because of the way it's been scored and that makes our scoring card there. Perfect. Okay, so Lovely. hopefully you've all got that. Brilliant. If you need me to recap that at any point, because we need three pieces of these. Uh, and the reason being, I'm going to use this piece now as a template. We're going to chop this up, uh, and then we're going to use it on our cardstock to, to actually complete our card. Brilliant. Uh, Anne's letting me know that she ordered on the 19th and she received it yesterday. It's very fast. Linda says she's been getting her packages way faster these days. She's in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, Rebecca wants to know where she can get her husband this shirt. Zara, Rebecca, <laughs> if you're in the UK. I don't know if you have Zara in the US, do you? It's a Spanish uh, mm. brand, let me know. Uh, can Debbie show the folding technique? Yeah, we've done that, that's sorted. Mary Ann wants to know if she could create this from an eight and a half by 11 inch paper. Don't you think can, she you, could, could she? Yeah, 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 you can create it for, you don't, it's, it's a weird one because you can create all different sizes with it and it's just about playing with the sizes. So like I showed you, this one is smaller than the main one that we've done. So you can see the difference in that. Uh, and the only, the only difference, I mean, you can see there's a massive difference in this panel here and this panel here, but the actual square on the inside is still four by four. So the square size is exactly the same. So but even if your base paper isn't that size, you're going to be able to, you're going to get something that is effective. You're absolutely. just not going to maybe necessarily yeah. get that exact yeah, size that you've shown. Absolutely. Okay. The only reason that I've done this size is because I want to be able to fit my creating card in the center of it. This one I made smaller because I wanted a different creating card, which is the six by six in the center of there. So yeah, you can absolutely make it in any shape that you want. Just have a play around. The most important thing is that you have that square and the line going diagonally through that square that's your important part of getting that fold uh, and once you've mastered this you'll find that you can use all different types of uh, papers on there Jane. all right awesome Debbie well I think everyone's just about there with you so I think we can move Good. on to the next step Brilliant. I hope you're enjoying it. It's nice to learn a different card blank. Uh, it isn't my idea. It's uh, Joanne Jameson uh, Larkin uh, who uh, come up with the concept of this card. So I have pinched that idea, but it's a fabulous card to uh, work with. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to just take a piece of white cardstock and I'm just going to trim that in half. So trimming it in half is just before our six inches. So trim that in half, I'm going to pop my guillotine down to the side and then we're going to actually do some die cutting. So I'm bringing in my butterfly die. Uh, it's my absolute favourite of this. Well, you know what, I've just said that Joe, and I do have another favourite. I do love the flower one, the roses, which looks beautiful. So what we are going to do, we're going to use both pieces of the die. So we're going to cut out the entire frame. So even though this is a creator card die, if you wanted to die cut this directly into your cardstock, you could do that. You could cut that directly in and you'd be able to create one like this where you can actually see through the whole piece. It's like an illusion card, isn't it? It is like an illusion card, yes. Uh, and then you can use that as your shaker card or you can put your uh, papers behind so you get a completely different look if you cut it out but I wanted to do it so we're making a topper for our card to nest on top of beautiful papers so I'm going to um, pop this in uh, and the one thing I didn't add to the list which I perhaps should have done so apologies is our low tack tape because I'm just going to use my low tack tape if I can find it can't find oh there's some here I'm just going to use low tack tape just to tape that down but I'm sure all our savvy crafters will have um, low tag tape in their stash. So I'm going to place a piece on the top and a piece on the bottom just to hold that in place. Now you can use your Gemini Junior. I've got my Gemini, um, uh, my large Gemini at hand 
and then we're just going to place that through. Oh, would help if we switched it on. And there you go, so simple as that. That's gonna cut out all that beautiful detail in there. I picked the butterfly wings because once you stick it down, the butterfly wings can be left to, to sort of flap up, which is really nice. So just bringing that through. And there we go, so let's take this out. Now, please don't take it out of your uh, die cut. I want to leave it in there for a second. So I am gonna just take out some of these bigger pieces. So just lifting these bigger ones out. And the only reason being, uh, actually, I didn't need to do that. I could have just left them in there. But what we are gonna do, I'm gonna take my tape away. Oh, making sure we get all of this away. Uh, there we go, didn't want to come away, and just this piece at the bottom, so taking that away. They always say low tack tape, Joe, but when we use it with the Gemini, it tends to be even more stickier. But I want to make sure that we uh, take this away. There we go, because what we're going to do now is we're going to actually ink through the die. So sometimes our dies allow us to give that extra detail. Uh, I can take all of this away actually, so we can take this piece away and we've got this one. Let me clear out all this so we can see what we're doing. And I'm just going to put mine onto a piece of card so you can see it as we uh, do our inking. So I'm going to bring in, uh, I've actually got my little dauber, but you can use your little ink pad. So any of your ink pad. Uh, I'm using, I like the colour of this one, so I'm using my Fuchsia um, Opaque ink pad, the pigment inks. But you could also use your um, Harmony ink pads, even your quick drying. And we're just going to go through the centre and also around the edge. Is there a name for this style of fold card? I don't know a name for it, Joe. you know. No? I have looked everywhere. So this week, last weekend, I was on Pinterest. I was went on the internet um, and I could not see this style of fold so um, I don't know if Joanne made it up whether she just come up with this idea but it would be lovely if um, someone would pick a name maybe for this style of card yeah absolutely maybe but we'll no. try and find out we'll have to let Joanne name it then if there isn't one if she's made it up won't we yeah, she might have just made it up. So I've done that myself in the past, Joe. I've made card folds. I've sat and played with different card folds and, uh, and created them. Um, but yes, I've looked everywhere on the internet and I couldn't see any uh, of this card fold. So I think Joanne may have come up with it, which is why I couldn't pinch it without giving her a name check. Because, what a clever um, sausage she is, eh? She absolutely is, and uh, which is why she's obviously part of our design team. We do absolutely. have fabulous... Uh, designers on the team. Kathy wants to know what type of tape you was talking about uh, and it was the low tack tape I'm guessing was it low that you stuck it down tape, with? Yes yep. I think we've got some on the show haven't we Joe? Uh, Sandra says done the two sides what measurements for the die cutting card please? You so die cut from the exact same measurement again did you Debbie? So the, this die cut I just halved my card so a piece another piece of card and I cut it in half a piece uh, of A4, a half A4. A4. Half A4. So yeah. A5, would you want to just quickly give us a measurement for that on the mat? Yeah, on the absolutely. Glass mat? Yes. We've got one right in front of me. So let's pop that on there. So the measurement for that is that will be the 8 2 by uh, eight, 8 and a quarter, let's say, by 5 and a Five and three quarters. Eight and a quarter by five and three quarters. And then you just die cut out the centre of that, have you, Debbie? It doesn't matter because you cut it out. So it cool. does, as long as this frame here, let's measure this frame, Joe. So the frame is five by seven. So as long as your piece of card is bigger than a five by seven, Perfect. it cuts that out completely. Awesome, thank you for that. frame with your die as well as the inside part as well. So I'm just going to take this out really gently. And actually, Joe, I'm going to um, look because I've just looked at this. Now, I think this could really benefit from another cut. Okay. So it's cut through, but I would be poking all those bits out. So rather than poke them out, I'm just going to send mine through another time. So and are you going to do it just the same sandwich or are you going to emboss it? Uh, no, I'm not going to do anything else. But what I am going to... I don't want to put an extra piece of card. I wanted a piece of tissue just to uh, put over the top because I've inked it. And I'll get all ink over my... Um, my Gemini mats. 
So all I'm going to do is place that over the top. You could emboss it, uh, but it's actually already cut. So okay. all I'm going to do is just send it through another time and um, that will just make sure that all the pieces that you would normally be poking out. I know all you savvy crafters would understand that out there. Uh, you wouldn't stand there and poking them all through because they would just naturally fall out when the card's been cut very cleanly. But yeah, it doesn't always benefits from... Oh, we've got beautiful embossed tissue. Look at that. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's like an extra bit, isn't it? Yes, isn't Never it? thought of doing that, Jo. You could emboss all your tissue paper, couldn't yeah, you, that you're lovely. putting into uh, your basket, into your... Um, um, bags and baskets right so when we put this take all our bits out so there we go and you can see all those bits of either stayed in the dial completely come out just got a few more little ones I think they've all come out there but you can see it's really subtle we've got that beautiful little pink in the middle pink around the edges it just looks gorgeous so we're going to lay this to one side Joe, because we don't need this at the moment that's our die cutting part out of the way I'm just going to clear all of my um, bits there, so giving you all enough chance to hopefully um, pick out all your die pieces, using your inks as your stencil throughout your uh, die, which is really nice. And then we're going to start to um, paper piece the actual parts of our card. So bringing in our card, let's bring in these two here. And then I'll pop this one to the side. We're going to use that in a second. But what we are going to do, we're going to stick our two pieces together to start with. So we're going to open these out. So open both pieces out. And then we're going to stick these parts in. Now what you are going to do is bring in that die cut and you'll be able to see this piece here you'll find it is slightly i had to do the measurements slightly different because this piece as we you'll see there's can you see my fingers underneath mm. there's a line in the center there which is fine so what you want to do is just have that slightly offset so you've got a little gap there you won't notice that because we're going to cover it with paper it's probably but, like what a quarter of an inch yes a quarter of an inch you just want to part that a quarter of an inch so it allows you enough space I couldn't do it to the point where I could get my diagonal so it's just that I guess if you wanted bit. to nothing to stop you extending it a little bit at this stage either is there oh Debbie? absolutely not you, you actually give it, a couple yeah, of inch gap if you wanted to yes absolutely and all I'm going to do is put a pencil line at the top and the bottom of there because then I know I'm going to bring in my tacky glue and I know that's where my glue will go to I mean, you could draw it all the way down if you wanted to, but what I tend to do is not go too near that line. I like to use my tacky glue, so bring in your tacky glue. You might just be someone who likes to use your tape pens, so you can uh, do that. And I'm not going to go too near that edge, because what I will do, Joe, is bring in this piece of card, and I'm going to put glue on this outer edge. Just on the very edge, okay. Just on the very edge. And then I know that my whole piece is going to be perfect so take it up until those lines and there we go and put that butted up to that line and that's it that's how we put our two pieces together and create that card so because it's tacky glue we just need to give that a little bit of time to dry I'm just being really gentle so we don't move it because it does give you a little bit of wiggle move and then we're just going to pull these into place and that is how you make your first card blank how awesome and then is we'll that? decorate it in a little while so we'll show you exactly how we do our mats and layers or how i do my mats and layers uh, and then we'll start with our decorating and get into that creator card so but hopefully you're liking the card so far joe it's a really nice concept isn't it so yeah, thank you really to nice. joanne for doing that yeah everyone's <laughs> loving it at home tell you what i'm going to do give everyone a chance just to get catch up and get those bits stuck together debbie whilst we do that there's a couple of other little items i'd like to run you through just to give you an opportunity to uh, get caught up so we've got a fantastic tape collection for you on the show and it's actually someone was asking a moment ago what tape was it that Debbie's using to stick her dies down it is this uh, the low tack tape that you've got just here uh, in here you're also going to get the red liner tape which is really awesome I mean I guess could you have used red liner for that instead of the tacky if you wanted oh, to uh, Debbie yeah, um, really strong great for construction that you're also going to get a couple of our tape pens in here so you're going to get the extra strong one and you're going to get the dotty one in there as well 1424 or 2196 if you want to get your hands on that now we've also got a tool collection on the show for you what this has got in here as well is that die brush tool so it's great for removing all those bits from your dies you're also going to get the replacement brush heads on there 
you're going to get the extra strong tape pen and you're also going to get the um, the all-purpose glue in there. This is the one that stops your cardstock sort of cockling and warping, which is awesome. Uh, so do grab those if you would like those. And I've got a great deal for you on the 12 by 12 card pads. I love these. They are the textured cardstocks. Now, remember that we did the original 8 by 8 well, These are the, were the first 12 by 12 textured ones that we did. Now, as a Platinum member, I need to speak to you about this because if you are a Platinum member, you're going to get these today for the awesome price of 42.86 now or 53.49 they should be 20 pounds or 25 dollars individually so you're getting a half price deal as a platinum member it's really really awesome then oh my word shut the front door you're gonna get another five pounds off aren't you so you're gonna get these for what less than 40 pounds or less than 50 dollars uh, so it's great remember if you're spending over 30 pounds or dollars at the checkout we'll take an extra five pounds or dollars off just making it a little bit sweeter for you let me go through so you've got the different collection so they're grouped in color family so you've got cool tones now they're double-sided they're white core you get 36 sheets but it's a card stock guys it's 230 gsm which is a really good all-around card weight for you you've got this one you know what one's in this one the sexy reds yes they are indeed look at these you've got beautiful violets running through to the reds and then you've got like the oh, it's like the high heel red isn't it it is truly truly stunning love that one the neutrals which on the outset probably don't seem the most exciting but they are so so useful because what you've got is you've got black and then you've basically got all the greys right the way through to the brilliant whites as well so you've got those in there and then you're also going to receive the sunflower tones. These are fantastic. So in here, you've got those gorgeous burnt oranges through into your yellows, then into the light greens, and those lovely dark verdant greens in there as well. It's textured. It's like a very, very fine linen texture that you've got. So that's those ones. You're going to get the sunflowers. You're going to get the neutrals. You're going to receive the reds and you're going to receive the blues in there as well less than half price for club inspired platinum members today on those which is brilliant uh, we've also got the contemporary watercolor this is gorgeous it's 40 pages it's 180 gsm so it's a paperweight what you've also got though is four sheets of die cut toppers in here which i think is absolutely awesome and then you've got all your papers oh, how gorgeous is that i need that as a, a shirt i think i think it's absolutely wonderful what's so brilliant about this is if you look here so, so what you've got you've got your pattern then you've got your background and what you'll see is that the, the backgrounds and the patterns are perfectly colour matched. So all you need to do is if you're making like the inside and the outside of a card, so maybe this is going to go on the outside, this is going to be your insert, use this page, use half of the front, flip it over, use half on the insert, and boom, that's perfectly colour matched for you, which I love. I think it's such a well thought out collection. You've got floral elements in here, going to be great if you want to do some fussy cutting. You've got the same patterns, but in lots of different colour tones as well, which is wonderful. Uh, so do grab that one, $17.99 or $22.95 if you would like to grab that. I'm going to give you just a little uh, moment more just to get yourself caught up to speed uh, and then we're going to move on to the next stage. So whilst you get yourself all caught up, let us share with you how you can watch and shop at the same time. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions and lol with us or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Details there of how you can watch and shop at the same time, which is awesome. Kim says on YouTube, are the 230 GSM card stock pads good for cards as well as boxes? I'd say so, wouldn't you? Card, uh, probably oh, card blanks yeah. you could make out of I, those, couldn't uh, you? Uh, you can actually make your card blanks, your boxes. They, yeah, they're. It's, it's my core card stock. Joe. Yeah, I go and to it these all the time. Uh, in fact, I've just replaced my warm tones because it's the pinks I With use the most. With the sexy reds in there. Yeah, the pinks and the reds. So I've just bought a new one because uh, they absolutely are my core card stock that I go to all the time, uh, and they're amazing. But I have to say, uh, if anybody wants a paper 
paper pad that you are going to use every single page that is in them. Uh, this is my absolute, and I've never said it about a paper pad, Joe, because I love all our paper pads, but this is my favourite paper pad. It's just incredible. And I've been really naughty because I'm doing another craft along, and they said, oh, Debbie, what do you want to use? And, and I was like, oh, can we have these papers again? Because I <laughs> use them all the time. I love them. The contemporary watercolour ones, and they do a traditional florals as well. It is so beautiful, these papers. They are double-sided. The way they coordinate is so pretty. So I've chosen these two uh, out of the book, and I'm going to start with this one as the middle section. So the biggest tip I can uh, give you is when you are using a creator card, it's, also, it's really nice to be able to have something that you can see through. But I don't like to keep things just with one piece. So this works really well because what you can do then, if you bring that down to this bit here, now look how pretty that has then made that. That looks like the butterflies are literally flying through the flowers in the field. These papers are so gorgeous. So this is the page that we're going to be using on the inside of our card. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with how do we get a precise piece of paper into the middle and there really isn't any difficulty about it. All I do, and this literally is how I mat and layer my pages, we are going to take the page to the bottom of our page so, and we're going to line that up, just make sure that that folds because we don't want to put that over the fold and then you end up with like a wrinkly piece of paper. So we want to keep it nice and neat and professional looking. Once you've done that, now this is the, this is the really hard part, we're going to put our fingers here and feel where that is coming over and we're just going to bend it onto itself. And oh, what okay. you're going to do is just use your fingers to make this crease along here. So once I've done that, I'm going to go along making sure this is still in line at the bottom because that's what you want it to be, is in line. We're then going to again find that crease here and fold that piece over. But this time what we're going to do is also, because we, we've butted this one up to this edge, we want to do the same here. So we're going to fold this piece over. Now what you could do is you could bring in your pencil. So when that's folded over, you could put in that pencil mark there. We're then going to follow this line up. So I'm just making sure all the time that I'm keeping it flat. I'm then going to fold this one and keep that pencil. Bring in a pencil and fold it into that line. I'm going to go back to this side and I can find that and I'm being quite forceful with that so I know that is my exact line and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring in my scoring tool again and I'm just going to go to the end of my card so just going along to the end of my card I can then use this to go up there it doesn't have to be neat because we're going to be coming into that line but that way we then have our perfect mat and lay. I'm just going to score up there so I can see. We've got our perfect mat and lay. If I turn it over, you'll be able to see. Can you see? We've created that whole piece that we need. So I'm just going to recap on that for anyone that's catching up perfect. and still doing. So again, we're going to pop that to the end of our page at the bottom. We're going to make sure that on this end, we're going to come up and make sure you can use your nails, you can just use your fingertips uh, and you can use a pencil as well. So if you use a pencil, that gives you more precision. We're then going to fold the side bits in so it gives a crease into our paper and then draw yourself a line so you know where that's going to be coming across. So the whole time, I'm not putting any pressure on, but I am keeping this held down because we don't want it to move. If any time it moves, just like, so if it moves slightly while you're doing it, just move it back as if long as you know. If you weren't know. that confident, could you use a little bit of repositionable adhesive to hold it in place if you wanted to, Debbie? Oh, absolutely. Like a stick and that's and spray. a really good idea. And the other thing I was going to say is you could also um, fold it in because this is your side. So what you oh. could do is turn that round onto your page like this and you can just draw around. And then you cut just inside the line by yes, what, a and fraction? You would cut it, yeah, which is probably a lot easier, but I like to get that precision by doing it inside. But you could just use your line uh, all around and what you would do then is just cut out 
where your line is and that will go inside. If you are doing it this way, make sure that you're doing it where your paper is facing the opposite way. Okay. So I know that when that's stuck down, that would be inside there, so you know you're doing it the right way. Brilliant. And then what you're going to do, you can either take your scissors or bring in your guillotine. I always like to use my guillotine. I'm better with a guillotine than probably scissors. I cannot cut straight to save my life with Really? A, you're with not Sarah scissor hands? No, Sarah is amazing with scissors. Scissors. I cannot I'm just I just cannot cut in a straight line with scissors so I love my guillotine so first of all I'm going to place this into my guillotine now remember don't use on your guillotine we would normally tell you to butt up against here but your card might not be completely straight so I can see straight away if I put that there that's going to cut off an, a, a different angle so let me bring it up a bit it's slightly going in so what I want to do is make sure that I'm going to bring this to my edge so you can fold this down because you've already put that fold line in once you've got that fold line what you want to do is just pull it out just a touch so you're actually cutting within that line so if I bring that in you can see so you're just taking the line off I've just took the line off so Wonderful. there's a little gap on there so that's all you need to do for that and then I'm going to bring it in on this side and again we're going to do exactly the same where that fold is, fold it down and then pull it out just a little bit. So we're coming in on that line so I can see that my line's been took off and we're going there. You can always straighten up afterwards and then going to again you pull that line in so I know that that's on there. We're going to then cut that line, pull it just a tiny little bit. You can adjust this always afterwards and then go round and we're going to do the same with this line here, folding it down and then just taking that out just a little bit so we take off that line. And that gives us our piece of card on the inside. So what we are going to do... Uh, I'm not going to stick it too much, I'm going to let you all uh, uh, snip your bits apart so you get all them. I can see my line there so that might be a bit too big on that side or it might be okay. But I'm going to pop that in to my middle section. Now I can see I've took off more on this side and less on this side. So that's where you'll start just adjusting it a little bit. I'm going to bring in my ruler which I pop somewhere, there we go. And all I'm going to do is use my ruler now, making sure that's against my bottom line. And then we are going to, so I know I need a little bit more off of there. So I wasn't very clean cut with that one. So we will bring my ruler across. And this time what I'm doing is lining it up with each side of my card. So I've got the same gap. And then I can do my pencil line in there. And then I'm going to come down and I just need a tiny bit more off of this piece. So just marking that down and taking Katie that says there. it's a fascinating card to be and very fun to make. Stephanie Theodos says that she is loving this demonstration, Debbie. Oh, I'm so pleased. It's so nice just to have something different to do, isn't it? And follow along, Craig. I would have love when I was um, just crafting at home I would have absolutely love to craft along with um, with people online it's something really different it gives you um, it gives you a sense of achievement doesn't it when mm. you can follow along and do something and have people that craft the way you craft and at the speed you want to craft because Crafting should be fun. It's not about speed crafting. It's not a race, is it? I, well, do you know what, Joe? It, it, when, we're, when we're crafting, it sort of is yeah. sometimes because we're up against time and we're so wanting to show you so much and do so many different demos. I absolutely love the fact that we can uh, just almost be in your craft room and we're crafting along at my pace that I would do at home, which is so lovely. Right, so that's our middle section. I'm going to stick that into, section, into the section. So going to bring this in and then what we're going to do we're going to bring in that other template we had you know we've done three of these uh, pieces joe so you will have a, another template now if you didn't manage to get the third one done hopefully you did um you can either go in and do that again or you can just draw around the edges like we just did for this part here so just popping that into place and I've got my perfect template. 
I love these. I just absolutely adore these card packs. So if you haven't got these card packs, um, you absolutely want to do that. So the next thing we need to do is just to stick this one into place, uh, but we're going to do that after we've just done our edges. Awesome. So we did this bit here, didn't we? So we're the one where I drew a line down. And all we're going to do with this one, we're going to use this as our template. So again, I'm going to bring in my guillotine. If you've got scissors, bring in your scissors. The first line you want to cut off is the diagonal line, because I did make the mistake before of cutting this line, but I cut into this piece. And this is the piece you want for your mat and layering. So cut on your diagonal line. And what you are going to do is cut on the inside of that line so I'm going to mark this so you can see it I'm going to use my my um, ruler just so I can see where I'm putting that line I'm going to come in just about half uh, about one one increment one um, one fifth uh, one eighth of an inch on there uh, and just coming in and that's where we're going to cut so cutting that line off and then popping that into place. So we're going to cut that into place. So that, first of all, that gives us our two pieces. We only need two pieces. Now with this one, again, I'm going to do it with a ruler so you can see, but we're going to come in slightly. So slightly on that side and slightly on our other side, just down there and cutting those pieces off. And always checking, once you've done these pieces, we're going to check them against our, uh, where we want them on the card. Because what we're actually doing, and when you've done this once, you've got these as a template, Joe. So, because we're going to use these to actually draw around and create. So, when you pull this out, I'm going to pop this into it, because that's exactly, can you see, we've yep. got exactly what we need around the edges. So that's our first template. And you only need one of these, because this one is going to fit into both of these parts. So it will fit into this one, and then it will fit into this one. So we're just going to draw around these, Joe, um, and uh, cut them out. And are you going to use the same template for both sides? You're for confident both sides, that they'll match they're, up? Because they're identical, yeah, and okay, they're identical awesome. every time. But this time I'm bringing my co my um, co co coordinating card uh, and we're going to cut out of this beautiful one here. Now what I will say is make sure you cut out the right side. So if I show you what I mean, this one we need to cut this way round and then we need another one to cut but the opposite way So you way have around. to make sure you flip it. So my tip here, here Joe. <coughs> Sorry, I got a tickle then, is to fold your cardstock. So if you fold your cardstock, I'm just going to fold my cardstock in half. And then what we're going to do is pop this onto the corner and we're just going to cut round it. So I am going to use my scissors here because I'm cutting through two pieces of cardstock. I'm just going to bring in my big scissors and we're just going to cut along that because th because we're using 300 GSM <coughs> sorry excuse me uh, 300 GSM I'm just making sure you can butt this up against the side so thank you Joe Joe just got me yeah, a lovely it. glass of water and that way, when I open that up, we've got two pieces that will match onto the front of our card. So these are going to be onto here. So hopefully that makes sense. So you double up your card and then you can create these on here. Then what we want to do is we want to uh, take our card again and do our triangle. So bringing in... Sorry, I was trying to have a quick drink then and I was gulping at the time. Yeah, a quick swig. Quick swig. It's uh, water, not gin. Yeah, it is definitely water, yes. <laughs> and then I'm going to place this piece inside that piece there. So we're saving ourselves card. I mean, you might find that you want to get a specific butterfly from the pattern or a specific flower, but I'm just uh, crafting as we go from our card start. And you get quite a lot of layers out of those. Now you want uh, four pieces of this one. 
So we've got two pieces for this side here and then we need two pieces for this side. So again, I'm just going to butt that up to the corner and then we're going to just cut along there. So nice and easy. So I hope my pace is all right for everyone at home. Yeah, I think so. Everyone seems to be uh, keeping up. Connie says, fantastic instructor. Stephanie saying, you're so clever, Debbie. <laughs> uh, yeah, Landa saying, it's a very unusual card. Denise, loving the paper pad as well. She said, I only have one paper pad and I spilled water on two pages and tears came to my eyes. <gasps> Sorry, well, I didn't she hear the last... She poured... Um, she poured... Denise spilled <gasps> water on it. No! Oh. Only two pages, though, thankfully. Oh, thank goodness. That's I good. would have been exactly the same. This, honestly, I can't even stress enough, Joe. This is the paper pad I'd be telling everyone to go for. It's so pretty. And you'll use every single page in there. Do you know with some pa paper pads, you look at it and you think, oh, I might only use about half the papers in there because they're mm. not my thing. These papers in here are so delicious i would just use them on I, I use it all the time so this is my next buy joe because i'm run, fast running out of pages uh, because i tend to be you that's my trouble though joe i do when i really like something i use them on everything right okay <laughs> and i think this card um uh, concept is going to be the same i'm going to start to use them a lot on a, a lot <laughs> i love this concept i love the fact that you've got your main front of the card but it's the inside of the card but you've still got the back of the card to uh, add your sentiments to uh, when you're sending out to someone and the other thing is which is really good with this concept joe is the recipient hasn't got to work out how to use it. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> With some concepts, you sort of have to send instructions, don't you? Like With... TPs are fantastic, aren't they? But you do have to sort of send a few, Absolutely, a bit of Absolutely, yeah, little hints and tips on them. But this one will just stand freestanding um, uh, when, as soon as it comes out of, the, uh, out of the envelope, which is amazing. So, yeah, really pretty card. But I'd love to, um, I don't know how many we've got crafted along with us, but I would love you to, po even if you're posting uh, on my page on uh, Facebook, I'd Apparently, love to see all your ones that you've yeah, done. absolutely. And ones that you're coming up with in the future. So Denise just... says it's me. Apparently, I make all the ladies lose their voices. Oh. Uh, <laughs> first it was Leanne, now Debbie. Uh, to be honest though, Joe, mine's been going, my throat has been going. I'm surprised it's still lasting because it's been about a week. Right. Um, and I know I talk a lot. I mean, I do talk a lot, even when love I'm Love a not chat, on... don't you? Yeah, I do love a chat. Yeah. Me too. Absolutely. You should yeah. hear us in the house together. Oh, we're <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like we're moaning. We're not. That's generally no. uh, laughter and chatting all the time. But yeah, my voice has been going. Um, I was on Creating Craft TV last week and... Uh, um, and I literally had to have water all the way through, kept sipping. Um, and uh, I even had to ask Martin Parker down there to speak more. Did you? <laughs> yes, bless him, because uh, my throat kept going, uh, kept going dry. So just popping that on the front. These papers are beautiful. Honestly, if there's one thing I can tell you if you haven't got from Crafter's Companion, you definitely want to get this paper pad. It's beautiful. And that's it, decorated, Joe. So right. uh, are we having a little break before I we go so. into the next I think so. I think that would be a good place mm -hmm. to take a natural pause, wouldn't it, for a moment? It Do you want to just would. show us it stood up for a second, Debbie? Yeah, there we go. Look, just like Look that. At it, it just stands beautifully. It's I a mean, work of that, art. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, it's really gorgeous. And this, I mean, if I show you the one that I've done. I mean, we're Do you know what you could turn that into, Debbie? You if you played turn around, it around with the sizes. You could decorate the back as well. You could turn it into a tuxedo. That's what I'm seeing. Oh, yeah. You know, if you made it like a tuxedo, that yes. could be the lapels of the a jacket lapels. with a collar yes. and a little dicky bow maybe or a suit yeah, with a jacket absolutely yeah but it's so such, many things you can do such a gorgeous style of card i love it really it. is uh, i want to just recap the watercolor card stock details are there along the bottom of the screen for you so you've got the four pages of the toppers which is awesome uh, so you can see those here and then i love these they're like big stamps then what you've got is the all the designs in here now what you've got is the reverse, in reverse of every page. Let me stop on this one, for instance, which Debbie just used. See how the reverse perfectly colour matches. 
the paper so it gives you a grounding gives you a matte and layer gives you maybe an insert for the uh, to match the outside of your card i just think it's wonderful if you are new to crafting and you know maybe knowing what goes together color wise and what works together composition wise this takes it all out all that guesswork out for you 17.99 or 22.95 make sure you're spending over 30 pounds or dollars because remember when you do that after your discount you're going to get an extra five pounds or dollars off across everything in show here on crafters tv and across absolutely everything over on the website. That's actually excellent, is it, when you think about it? That's like, what, a 15, 16, 17% discount, something like that, if you're spending 30 pounds or dollars. Brilliant value for money. Let's just recap as well the designs that are available. So we, what we do with the Craft Along is we will launch a product, and we'll always aim to do a Craft Along within about four weeks' time, and we will replicate where we can that launch deal that we did. We can't replicate the launch deal for this product, and I'll tell you why. It's because we're then all in stock. The Ornate Cross is out of stock. We have bought you an equally fabulous deal on the ones that we do still have, which is the Butterfly Love, which is this one here, the Rustic Rose, which is that one just there, also the Moon and Stars, which is this one, and also this one here, which is the Church Blessing. Now, not only do you get that in there, you're also then going to receive as well this, which is your All Occasion Banners. And these are brilliant because you've got all your different occasions in the stamps and then the banners that make these lovely little tags that you can pop there. Uh, if you are a Platinum member in the UK, you can get this for £51.20, saving you... Do you know what? Saves you $44.75 as a platinum member. That is not far off half price, which is awesome. $62.40 as a platinum member in the US. Now, with the other one we do have, we don't have enough to pop it into the main bundle because we have very, very few of these. It is very busy. How are we doing stock-wise on this one, actually, Georgina? I know this one wasn't featured over on HSN, so if you've got the collection on HSN, you won't have got this one just here. Uh, this one available individually, $16.99 or $19.95. What you can do, though, is mix and match this one with any of the others that are available um, very very busy limited stock uh, here on this one now is what I'm hearing so if you want it please be quick for it it is also very busy on that big collection as well over 40 percent of the big collection has sold out and gone uh, obviously that is a, uh, a back in stock collection that we had something else that's still available and it was featured in was it our show yesterday we featured it in I think it was, uh, is the Gemini Pro. It was uh, featured in our Precious Memories uh, book spine show yesterday. I know some of you actually telling me in the comments that you've already received uh, your Precious Memory book spines after you ordered them yesterday and they're out for delivery today. Shut the front door, I know, it's quick, isn't it? Let's recap the details of that fabulous pro. It is available to you. It's on extended dispatch the 29th of March. Once that batch of stock has gone, which we're coming to the end of, it is gonna be a while after that. So if you've been thinking about it, uh, maybe today's the day. Here's the features. Supersize your die cutting and embossing potential with the Gemini Pro. With a huge 12 by 12 cutting platform as standard, this machine is perfect, not only for larger projects and batch making, but also for cutting all elements, mats and layers for your smaller projects in one pass too. The machine is capable of cutting through all sorts of materials, including card, craft metal, leather, wood, felt, and multiple layers of fabric. The power, pressure and performance that you've come to expect from the Gemini family of electronic die cutting machines has been enhanced to the next level. It's been engineered for superb edge to edge cutting of up to 12 by 18 size materials with perfect results every time. In the box, along with your Gemini Pro machine, you'll receive two clear cutting plates, a rubber embossing mat, a magnetic shim, plastic shim and metal shim, all 12 by 12. Power cord, plus of course your comprehensive instruction booklet that will guide you through the plate combinations you need for your different dies and embossing folders. Larger 12 by 18 plates are also available separately to boost your creativity even further. So, whether you're a card maker, scrapbooker, create paper or fabric embellishments, table decorations, wedding stationery, or keepsake gifts, to name but a few, this machine will revolutionize your crafting experience. All the details of that fabulous pro, and I know so many of you already gone for that uh, as well. Lots of people sharing different ideas. We've got any sort of 
incredible. What size envelope? We'll cover those. I've got a few questions coming in. They're not sort of critical to the actual demonstration itself. So we'll keep those to the end. Um, that was in my head, the envelope as well. Was it in the envelope? A lot of talk about templates and pieces and lettering. All very valid questions. I'll keep them until the end, though. Um, Zassi. What a lovely name. Zassi. Zassi. Love yeah. that. Uh, it says, just watching uh, Will Craft later. Debbie is so mesmerising to watch. Snooze, you lose your old Sonia says, Debbie, you are so creative along with being very sweet. I love this concept. You and Joe are awesome together. How Aww. nice is that? Uh, Joe and Debbie, this card is a double diagonal folding card. Ah, so it's called apparently. Double diagonal uh, folding card. And that actually makes sense. Double it? diagonal folding. Thanks a, for that, Will. A single diagonal folding. Yeah. Uh, this is without a doubt going to be the card of the week, according to Rosalind as well. Uh, so here we go. Right then, I think everyone's just about caught up. So it's all right with you, Debbie. We'll press on with the uh, next bit, if that's yeah, all right. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you for your lovely comments. That's so lovely. So this is my new pad because I've pretty much used, uh, I've destroyed my uh, other pad and it's been used so much. This is such a lovely one. So if you're going to go for any of the pads, this one is beautiful. Look at all your mats and layers of those different reds in there. We've then got those gorgeous. I mean, look at that salmon. It's beautiful. And then we go into our pink. So we're not going to use the first pink or the second pink. We're going to use this third pink. Uh, but we've then got a fourth pink and then a fifth. Look at that. I mean, look at that gorgeous magenta. It really is incredible. So I'm going to pull out one of these ones. We're not using actually too much of this, but it would be nice when you have a bit more time to matte and layer. But the pink in this pigment ink pan matches absolutely. I mean, it's spot on. If I bring it to the side, look at that. You could not get a better pink match on this. So your ink pad for your fuchsia uh, is beautiful. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to trim our card to fit our creator card. So I'm just taking it down. I'm going to do it. Let's do um, five and three quarters. So five and three quarters. And then I'm just going to bring in my creator card. And I'm going to pop that on top just to make sure that I've got enough room around the side. So we're gonna do that seven and a quarter inch. And that just gives me a piece of card to lay this in the center. Now this time I'm not too worried about having um, the outside cutting edge because all we're gonna do, we're gonna snip into this and cut out some of the pretty butterflies. Okay. So I'm gonna bring in my plates for my, um, uh, my junior plates but I'm going to run it through my big Gemini uh, just popping them on there and then we're going to run that through so really quick and easy because you could do this uh, in sections and in stages so if you are doing uh, you could create all your panels for your creator cards and each one of these uh, you can use which which whether it's the balloons whether it's the roses they will all work in the same way and then you could also uh, cut out some of these as individuals uh, you could use some butterfly uh, dies that you've got in the um, in your stash but obviously by doing this we can match up uh, our card completely so all I'm now going to do is take my scissors now we have got our little scissors but I actually quite like using our bigger scissors um, and we're just going to snip in so what I would say is where your butterfly is here follow the wing down sorry not the wing follow the head down here and snip to that wing and that will pull that wing out there so it, it allows that to come out. So what's really nice about these designs is they're all the snippability in them are so, so easy. And then with the bottom, all we're gonna do is take from the wing at the bottom and snip to the side of its tail. So just getting into there, snip into the side, and then I'm going to do exactly the same, snip to the other side, into there. So you're just snipping away and creating your butterflies. So I'm going to have a pink one there. You can cut as Maybe many as you want. Maybe we could just get a little bit closer to see you do this next one, Debbie. If yeah, that's right. absolutely. Let's go in for a, for a smaller one. So we're going to start, let's go up from the towel. So where its towel is here, so you can see the towel there. Got we're that, just yep. going to pop that there and that takes that away. And then we're going to do the same from the towel, snip into that side bit, which takes that part away. You're going to turn it round. And then from the butterfly shoulder, we're going to snip to the wing. And then the Perfect. other shoulder, 
were going to again snip to the wing. I and mean, then it just it comes out. You'd be, never know that you'd cut that out, would you? You would never know. These have amazing snip ability. Snip so. to the wing. <laughs> snip to the wing. Snip to the wing. Kickball <laughs> change. <laughs> Snip to the wing. Yeah, so I'm just going to cut a couple out of those for now. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our uh, main butterfly because I don't want to get rid of the white because the white looks really nice. But what we are going to do, we're going to stick these on top of here, but we're going to do that after we've stuck this to our main card. So for anyone that's got our tape pens, you're going to need your dotty tape pen. Now, if you haven't got a dotty tape pen, you could use your Xyron machine or you could use your tacky glue, but you do have a lot to, of sticking on the back here. So I would absolutely recommend your dotty tape pen. Now I'm going to do a little tip here because I don't want to stick my wings down. So what you're going to do is bring your wings up from the back. Normally would say through the front, but if you bring them up, so if I have it that way, you bring them up from the back and I'm going to do that with all the wings. So just start lifting them all from the back. So as they come up and then we just need a scrap piece of card to actually do our glue in. So pulling those wings up, even your small ones. I mean, it doesn't matter if some of them are stuck down, but it's quite nice because we've got these floating wings, uh, liftable wings, in fact, um, we can actually use those. I don't want to use my pink card as scrap card, so I am just going to bring in a piece of card here. In fact, I, I really need, I'm going to show you one. Let's bring in a piece of craft card. So just a scrap piece of card to go onto the back. If I use this and you can see very clearly. You can see how clearly it, it's so beautiful, this die. So with your dotty tape pens, what we're going to do is hold it from the top. You've got like a grip motion here, which you hold on the top and each side. We're just then going to lightly go across and place our dots just where we need them. So I'm going around my whole frame to start with. You might just need to lift the wings away. I'm going to turn it round and then place those dots just across. So hopefully you're all following along and sticking all your dots down all around the edges. So that way I know that all my edges have got some. I'm then going to pop these on and then we're just going to go around and do all the little pieces in between. Just add in our glue. You might just need to lift your wings out the way, but that's not a problem. Lift your wings. These wings were made away. to fly. That's all I can think about at the moment, the Little Mix song. <laughs> <laughs> I love Little Mix. It, yeah, it wasn't the best. I don't think he's going to get a job as a peacock impressionist uh, if so it doesn't work out So our producer has just said that Craig did a... Um, a a oh, did I not say that Craig had done a I just thought impression. I'd explain Thank that, Joe. Thank you. Show. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, so I had, I didn't see it either. Was it, what noise does the peacock make? <laughs> no, it doesn't make that noise at all. I don't know. They don't make any noise, do they? Oh, I can't get that bit Is up it more then. of a... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a, a, a turkey gobbling. <laughs> It's turkey time. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> that's in a, uh, that's actually in a film. Jennifer Lopez says that. It's a line in a film. It's turkey time. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> what so, film are you Sorry, watching? I don't know what's happened here. Anyway, back to you, Debbie. Yeah, we're talking about nice, pretty, beautiful butterflies. We've got onto peacocks and turkey gobbles and all sorts. So I'm just making sure that as we go around, I'm lifting my wings. It takes that little bit of time, but actually when you get really good detail and a good stick, uh, it, you don't mind sort of taking your time on there. So I think we've pretty much got all of our pieces, just lifting up those wings. And you can sort of feel, so if I go around, I can sort of feel, yeah, we've got lots of sticky dots all over, but we've got none coming through. They're not protruding through at all. And then what we're going to do is we're just then going to bend our wings back the other way. So just bending them in, so that way they will come through the top. Adding that extra pink, and you'll know yourselves if you're crafting along with me, um, that pink makes such a difference, just putting in those little bodies. It's such a pretty colour. Popping them all through. So obviously it takes a little bit of time just to pop them in. 
or pop them out, should I say. But it's well worth it when you've got those beautiful wings. Oh, one more I can feel just going through the other side. And then we're going to bring in our main card. So once you've done all that, we're going to bring this back in and then we're going to stick this in the centre of our card and it fits perfectly because I've sized it to the size of the outside cutting die. So to start with, just using your fingers, you can just poke down into all those gaps. And there we go. I mean, you can actually go in and uh, just put a piece of card on the top, but because I've already put all our butterfly wings up, we will just pop that all down. So I know that's now all stuck. Apparently, so, peacocks make a screaming noise. They make a screaming noise. Do you think they sound like a velociraptor? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the noise. Sorry, I tried then. Um, they might be extinct, Georgina. They still made a noise. Uh, <laughs> Anne says peacocks are quite loud. We were at a zoo once, had peacocks just wandering around. Every so often they would let out a big squawk. There you oh, go. Oh, there you go. I've never heard one squawk. They've always been very calm and, oh. uh, and lovely. So, right, so we've got our main bits there. We're nearly getting close to finishing our card. So all we've got to do is add a sentiment on there. Uh, and we're going to just cut another couple of butterflies out. But these butterflies, we're going to um, lift our... I'm going to leave the wings. I don't want to stick the wings either. So you've so, always got layers of wings then, lots, really. And you could put lots of layers. Yeah, you know what, Joe, would really be build it up. Yeah, you could use lots of layers of... Um, maybe, vellum. maybe matte mirror you could yeah, play around with. If you use with. vellum, mm. you could use like four or five different layers oh, nice. and have them all crumpled. They would look beautiful. Beautiful, love that idea. So I'm just using my tacky glue just to do the uh, body and we're just going to stick that onto our first butterfly at the top here. Now you can see this isn't the butterfly that I cut out because I want a difference on there. I want to sort of have that so there's a bit of white around the edge and we've got those sort of two uh, different an antennas. They're not antennas. What are they? <laughs> They're... Um... Dealy boppers. No, are they antennas? That's not... I know what they are. I thought what they were called, called something else. Oh, are, they thought... an are they antennas though? No, I think antennas is the wrong word. Thorax is the body apparently. No, um... Antlers. Thorax, no, the body antlers. of a butterfly. <laughs> Sorry? Antlers. They're not antlers. No, what are they? Oh, Someone will let us know in the comments. I thought, I was thinking antennas were um, off TV aerials. Perhaps that's what they are. Is that what they're called, antennas? I thought they were called something Well, else. yeah, says Georgina. Like, our, duh. No, our crafters will know if I've got it right or not. I doubted myself. That's what it is. I doubted myself. It's and a sense then, of smell um, and balance. Oh, yeah, antennas. Yeah. I didn't know that. Georgina that just Googled it, I'm guessing. <laughs> Uh, Georgina is highly intelligent. She just knows these things. She does. So. <laughs> right. So That's what she next, does. She knows things. She knows our things. Our next thing to do, Joe. So we're going to be bringing in. So hopefully you've all got your butterflies and you've matted and layered them. We're now going to bring in our stamping set. Now okay. this one, uh, it's been made uh, especially for this set because they go really well. You've got amazing sentiments in them and you've got loads of these different dies, which is amazing. And all of these fit into here. So you just decide which ones that you want to have. So I think we're going to use this one. And I do also think because we've got a double card, I thought it'd be nice to use uh, two different things. So in fact, I'm going to use our best wishes and I'm going to use friend. So we've got best wishes friend. So you're giving more than just the one sentiment. And we're going to use these to create on our card. So just using, I'm bringing in my piece of cardstock that was just left over. Um, and I'm just going to cut myself a piece of card out of there. Tentacles, apparently they're called. Tentacles, that's what it is. Tentacles, yeah, butterfly not antennas. tentacles. Antennas are... Um... Georgina's just making it up, I think. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here, because I can stamp both of these at the same time, just making sure they will go on my stamping block. But I also want to make sure that the die I'm using, I'm using the same one, will cut out both pieces. So I'm just going to make sure that there's enough room to be able to cut them out perfectly. And then I'm going to just pick them up with my um, four by four stamping block. It's all you need really for these ones, uh, but you can use any one that you have. 
I'm then going to use my flagstone. So uh, we had that sort of on our um, stand, stamp in uh, list. There we go. Oh, my um, my ink pad seems a bit wet, Joe. I left it in the car last night. You what's a bit wet? That my ink pad. I mean wet as in uh, too wet. I so, think it's wet on the outside. No, I'm wondering if it got a bit of moisture in there. Seems oh. like wet, watery wet. But it's fine. We've still got our sentiments. We've still got our beautiful Love it. sentiments. As I was stamping it, it just seemed very wet. Well, you think something might have spilt on it in the car? Is that no, what you no, mean? no. I think, oh, I just, I'm thinking condensation. Oh, okay. Because I left it in the car, yes. Right, so, oh, Joe, what, oh, put it back. There it is. So we're going to cut out one at a time. I mean, you can use two different ones. In fact, let's use uh, two different ones. Let's do a best wishes on this one and then on to this one and i'm just going to again bring in my tape so low tack tape we've got that on the show just making sure because i haven't done them straight i'm making sure that they're straight in the actual uh, frames and then just bring that to the side to hold them both together and then we will bring in our plates and run that through our gemini so nice quick and easy uh, sentiments for our card and then run them through. How are we doing for time? I think I've... Yeah, uh, have, right. I took, have I took the longest left. in doing a card, Joe? Sorry? <laughs> have I took the longest in doing a craft it along? It is, but I think it's the most <laughs> elaborate one that we've done so far in the craft along. So I think, you know, you have to go at the pace in which the craft along dictates, Debbie. I'll go. Yeah, can't absolutely. Much it, can we? Oh, as long as you're all uh, uh, still crafting along with us. So we've got those bits, but Joe, I do also want to just cut out and snip out some butterflies. So have we got time to do that as well? Yeah. So again, we're going to cut again our um, butterflies, but these are all things that you can do afterwards. So if you're still uh, doing extra pieces, just giving this a little tap so we can uh, still got lots of bits in there. So let's give that a clean out because I'm sure um, all of you at home will have those bits as well. So I'm just taking out all our tiny pieces. Uh, Deborah are, says, right. Debbie is such an amazing, this is such an amazing card. You're so clever making this while telling us all the instructions. I'm going to watch it back. Maths and measurements, not my strong point. In fact, Debbie, do you think it might be an idea? Would you mind popping the measurements on your Facebook page after Absolutely, the show? Absolutely, yes. Brilliant. So my, my Facebook page is Debbie Fisher Crafters Companion. I will put the measurements and the finished card uh, onto there as well. Cool. Not Sue says the card is well worth making. I would stand it in my mantelpiece as an ornament. I love that it idea. It is, and actually, it is one, I, when I did it, I thought it is one of those cards you just want to leave out uh, and keep it on the side because it does look so beautiful. It just, it's very elegant card, isn't it? It stands up beautifully, it looks lovely. And the fact that you can use any creator cards that you've got in your stash uh, in these cards, you can use anything. And any papers, so any 12 by 12 papers, uh, any mats and layer, and any pretty card stock. I, I can't wait to see what you all do with this card because once you've got this concept, you'll be decorating them in so many different ways. Yeah, actually so, you will. Just taking this one out and we're just going to trim out a couple of more uh, butterflies and then stick them on with our sentiments, Joe. So um, that will give us our beautiful card. And I'm so thrilled everybody has liked them. Wonderful. Sonia, Snoozer Luzio, Sonia says, I just received my third CT order. Got after companion Yola in beast mode on the delivery times. I've received all of my orders recently within two weeks. Are uh, Awesome. Thank you so much for all y'all's hard work. You're more than welcome, Sonia, absolutely, in Louisiana. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're going to snip our butterflies again. So again, from the shoulder to the wing. And just in case it doesn't clip, you can just clip that off. And again, from the shoulder to the wing. And that will just take that out of that piece. And then on the bottom here, we're going to snip away on this one from the little wing to the base and from the little wing to the base and that gives you your first little butterfly and then let's have another one so again from that base snipping up to the bottom of his tail 
and then turning it around. Oh, this one, and actually you can see, uh, is attached by that swirl. So all we're going to do is just round that off. So first of all, take out the top piece. So from the shoulder to the wing. So that will just take out that piece. And then we're just going to cut around that. So we get his antennas or um, tentacles, whichever they are, uh, and cut round. And then pop that onto there and that cuts that out beautifully. So we've got our two cut out and then we did have, Joe. did I I'll use both of the pink ones so that's fine but we will just bring these in. I'm then going to bring back in my dauber so where you had that uh, pink on your dauber I'm going to go around the edges of, of, um, of here. Awesome. And just to give it a little bit of a grounding, is that? Yeah, and it, well, what it does is it just highlights and brings all the colours in, Joe, rather than having that stark white. So just on that edge, but I mean, you can see the difference straight away. It looks amazing. I might do that on the butterflies as well. So just bringing that around. Just what we'd love, wouldn't we, Debbie, is as people finishing these cards to email pictures in to us. Oh, uh, that's I'm sure amazing. lots I didn't of you may have got that. slightly ahead of Debbie. Maybe if you have got slightly ahead of Debbie, now's a great chance. As soon as you've got this um, all popped together, pop us a picture via email, oh, studio yes. at craftscompanion.co.uk. Details down there for you. So uh, make sure you uh, pop us a picture. We'd love to see. If it does take you a little bit uh, of a... If it does take you... If you don't get it finished by the end of the show, but you do get it finished, people could send us pictures in our later Craft Fault show, couldn't they, Debbie? Maybe Ooh, we could share yes, them then as well. Yeah, Myself absolutely. and Debbie are up with Craft Fault from 7 till 8 here in the UK, 2 till 3 East Coast. So, yeah, we could show them then as well. Uh, I'll be up in just over an hour's time with Craig for the Craft House. Uh, we've got all things nitwits coming your way for that, which will be awesome. So I'm just going to get my, uh, try to, oh, I'll just use my tape pen. So we'll just pop that into place. I'm going to pop one onto here um, with our butterfly. So let's have here. So just adding that little bit of glue to our bottom bit, we'll have that. Just make sure that when they're lying flat, you can still see your um, birthday wishes. But we can sort of manipulate our wings there. So that's on one side. And then on the other side, we're going to put friends. So we've got best wishes and friends. And just add that to our card. And there we go. Add that one on the bottom. And again, adding that little bit of tacky glue just to the middle center of the body and then we can add that onto here so just holding that into place and there we go we've finished our card joe so if i turn that round and there we go turn How that round awesome and there we go that's it, simple as that. That's it, simple as that. <laughs> it was brilliant, but Thank Debbie. you for crafting along. I, I can't wait to see all your projects. It'll be really lovely to see what you do with them. Uh, and then afterwards, if you've used different uh, colours. But that part, that um, the um, paper pad, please get that because you will not be disappointed. You'll no, absolutely. absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of you chatting away still. Stephanie says, the nice thing about this card is you wouldn't have to explain to the recipient how to stand it up. Exactly. Debbie said that earlier. Mary Lee says, this card is so unusual and gorgeous, I know I'll be making many of these. Suzanne says, they are called antennae, is what they're called, and the tip, the bit on the end, is called a club, apparently. Club. Yeah, the end of the antenna has a club. There you are. Debbie, I love this, it's gorgeous, absolutely exquisite, says uh, Lisa as well. Lots of you really, really loving it. Do you think we've got time to squeeze in another demonstration before the end of the show, Debbie? Absolutely. Awesome. Right, let me recap what is in the collection. So what we always try and do with our Craft Along shows is recreate, recreate, sorry. <laughs> that was very close to being a swear, wasn't it? Recreate uh, the <laughs> launch collection as much as we can. Now, I'll be honest with you, the Ornate Cross is sold out. Uh, but what we do have uh, are the, is the rest of them. Now, I've put a four-piece collection together for you. So in here, you've got the butterflies. You've also got, as well, the rustic roses. You're going to receive the moon and the stars. 
and you're going to get church blessings as well in there. They're the four credit card dies that you have got. You are also going to get the all occasions banners in here as well. So all of your different sentiments and then all of your lovely banners that you can pop together to make sort of gorgeous little plaques out of those as well, which is fantastic. So if you want to go for that, you can. It's almost a half price deal for Platinum members. In fact, it will be a half price deal, won't it, for Platinum members? Because you will, with the extra five pounds off or five dollars off when you spend 30 pounds or dollars, you'll get another uh, five or off. So you're saving more than you're spending as a Platinum member in the UK. Uh, platinum members here will spend 51.20 in the US. You'll spend 62.40. Awesome value for money. Now, the one that uh, one that hasn't sold out, we do still have it in stock, but we have very few of them. So we've popped it together separately uh, because we obviously didn't want this to sell out in the main collection, is the Take Flight. 16.99 or 19.95. You can go for any of two. You can mix and match this with the four that are in the main collection, any two for 30 or $37. If you want to do that, then absolutely you can. Uh, now, next one I wanna share with you is a temporary watercolor pad. Lots of questions coming in about envelopes and boxes that you could put that card in, Debbie. So maybe we could cover that uh, before the end of the show, if that's all right. Um, loads of you still chatting away. Uh, so yes, what, uh, right, let me go back to water. I'm, I'm, I obviously can't multitask today, can I? Let me share with you the watercolor, contemporary watercolor pad. This was perfect for, uh, you've got tags in here. And these are great for, you know, the stackable easels that we did. These work wonderfully uh, with those as your easels. Then you've got all the beautiful pads, papers. But remember what you've got is on each one of these, let me show you, so you've got your pattern that side and then you've got your mat layer on the other. So you could definitely layer those up together uh, and you've got something that you know is gonna go together composition wise very, very easily. Love these sort of browns and creams in there as well. It's a gorgeous paper pad, 17.99 or 22.95 if you want to go for that. Now, a great deal for you on the textured cardstock. It's almost half price for Club Inspire Platinum members. In fact, it will be half price compared to buying them for individually because you've got to save five pounds when or five dollars when you set when you spend thirty pounds or dollars. So you've got four in here, thirty-six sheets in each of these, two hundred and thirty GSM as we covered earlier, a really good all-round weight, which is fantastic. You've also got the reds in here as well, which is your warm tones, absolutely exquisite there as well. We then have two the twelve by twelve. Uh, it's the neutrals that you've got here now not the most exciting one but definitely the most one of the I'd say probably the most versatile it's something you need all of the whites through to the grays through to the blacks and then we also have here as well the fantastic sunflower tones too uh, really beautiful with those oranges the yellows the greens and the dark greens as well uh, 53 57 or 66 86 However, Platinum members today get a 42.86 or 53.49. That's before the extra discount. They should be 20 pounds each, which is awesome. Right, uh, lots of you still getting questions in. I'll, put them I'll pop them over to Debbie uh, as we go through the last sort of 15 minutes or so. I want to just give you all a chance just to get caught up and finished. And also those of you that are finished, give you an opportunity to send me a picture. I'd love you to email me your pictures, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Whilst you do that, let me share with you all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. 
Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money-saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly ditchy mag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. What are you waiting for? Absolutely, make sure you become a member of our club today. Uh, lots of people loving this show. Stephanie says, I'm so happy I ordered this collection of creator cards. Just came this week, so thanks for all the inspiration, Debbie. Sandra says, fantastic show, Joe. Joe and Debbie, a brilliant teacher. Big thank you. Look forward to next Craft Along, because I learn so much. Deborah asks, what size uh, does it fold down to, please? And also, a lot of people asking about envelopes or boxes that we could make to mail this in, Debbie. Yeah, absolutely. And I never thought until just now, we've just been discussing it. I said, oh, I should have thought to do an envelope. I can't work out on the spot what size envelope you will need, but I do have a show tomorrow uh, with craft class. It's going to be amazing. And we've got the envelope box on there. We've got the boxer board. We've got so many different boards to show you. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the size of the envelope that will fit this card. And I'll show how to do it in the show tomorrow. Uh, I believe it's 1, 1 p.m. That one? Yeah, 1 yes, p.m. here in the UK, which is 8 a.m. Eastern time. Mm -hmm. uh, you can catch up at any point after that if you want to. But yeah, what a great reason to join us both for that tomorrow, Debbie. Yeah, absolutely. And I will try and work that out and get that done. But if not, I know it will fit into an A5, A4 envelope. So if okay. you did just want a normal envelope, you could uh, send it in that. But I did think let's get another one done and just show another quick way of how we can use these creator cards. So I've got quite a big piece of card, but I have, and I'll bring that up so you can see it is a really big piece of card and I am bringing in my Gemini Junior. I don't have the Pro to hand but I know some of you might not have the Pro. So what I am going to do is I'm going to uh, attach that just into here on the side of my card. So and I'm just using my eye to line it up and then we're going to place that down. But what I am doing is I'm hanging it off the end of my Gemini. Actually, we have to do it the other way around because of the way the Gemini goes. So let me bring it long ways. And because of that, I am adding in my metal shim. So then we're using our plastic shim, our, our magnetic mat, and then our top cutting plate, and we will pop that through. So because I've got that hanging off the end like this, we just make sure that we place it into the uh, mouth of the card and then that will go through just with our card there. So as that goes through, it's slowing up that little bit because it's got an extra pressure shim in there, but it's just making sure that as it goes through that way, and I'm just gonna make sure that this card comes straight out because I don't want it getting caught into any of my rollers. So just taking that card out, pop this into the side, and then we can take out our creator card. And actually, that could have done with an extra cut, although that's all cut. Let me just take all these pieces out. Because it's such an intricate die, you'll just uh, use your pokey tool. And I know we're fast running out of time, so what, instead of just pokey, you'll see all these bits will come out. I will just bring in my finished one. So just got this one here. So we've got all our bits. Let me just clear all those bits out of the way and then we will see our card. So we've got that beautifully cut into our side panel there. Then I've got some gorgeous cardstock, which I've just matte and layered, and we're gonna use that on the inside of our card. So I'm gonna use my tacky glue, just putting that round the edges. So I think I'm running out, my bottle's running out of glue. That's not good, is it, Joe? Because you're a little to, uh... crafting monster today. That's why, Debbie, honestly. <laughs> crafting monster. <laughs> a lovely one. A lovely craft. Is lovely there a lovely is there lovely is there things such as a lovely monster? I think so. Some of them can be quite cute, can't they? I don't know. Is there a lovely like monster? Like the the cookie monster, he's quite cute, isn't he? The cookie monster. <laughs> Monster you... Munch, they're delicious. You could be, you know, <laughs> the Monster Mash, who doesn't love mashed potato? Yeah, I suppose that's quite true, yes. The Frag Fraggle Rock, I suppose they were all monsters, weren't who they? Who were? 
Yeah, so... Um, yeah. Lordy, who won Eurovision for Finland, they were monsters, they were friendly <laughs> monsters. <laughs> so singing I'm, the song I'll Hard the Rock Hallelujah. Monster. <laughs> You're a crafty monster, you are. Right, so to highlight this, Joe, what I want to do is add some panels. So I've got some really nice bright card here and I'm going to pop that underneath. Now, what I am going to do, it doesn't matter where that goes, I don't, I won't want that to cover, so I'm going to bring in my pencil. And this is a really good way of actually creating your mats and layers. So all I'm going to do is go round this card, and then we can start to see where that's going to take us. You don't need to, um, it doesn't matter that you're filling those gaps, so if we do uh, this one, you want to go round the outside, and then it will just, uh, you'll be able to see exactly where you need to snip into. And then we'll do our large flower down here. And it's just a really nice way of um, creating our panels on the back and our overlays. But what we get is uh, we still get that beautiful, just trying to work out my flower there, uh, we get a beautiful effect, uh, but still being able to see underneath. So I'm just working out where my, so that goes down there and up. And what you could do is just to make sure you know where you're, you're trimming, you could sort of fill in that gap as you go along. So we know sort of that goes round. I can just follow that round and then you can fill those details in. So, and then I'm going to do this last flower. It doesn't matter that I've moved it because it doesn't matter where this flower goes as long as uh, it fits in there. Just do our last flower around the edges. And there we go. And just want to make sure I fill that in that way. There we go. So that gives me just an outline that I can just quickly go into. Now I know that this needs, these are on my straight lines. What's the dimensions of that card base you're working with there, Debbie? It'll be the same. So it's a five by seven. Five by seven. Awesome. Yeah, five by seven. And you want to cut in between the lines. You don't want to cut outside the lines. Because you don't want to see the lines. Is that why? You what, sorry? Is it because you don't want to see the lines? You don't want you to You don't want to through? see the lines. Yeah, you don't want to see the lines. So that one's at the side. So we can cut that down. Uh, do we need to vote for the demo of the shot? I don't think we do, do we? I think we know what it's going to be. <laughs> I oh, mean, I think it actually is only one demo of the show, but this is the second one. Yes. We've had some shocking election results, but I think I've, I've got I've got faith in you all that it would have been the butterfly. So let's <laughs> let's just go. Let's just go with it. Not just elections, referendums as well. Let's just um, go with it. So well, yeah, I think I we can say I that. I haven't the, won yet. Maybe I could think win. We should, I know, cards. Debbie, it's got to be done this week. I think we can kind of not rig it, but I reckon we <laughs> can definitely <laughs> canvas for canvas for votes tomorrow. Mind you, we have very a, subtly. Our team is awesome, isn't it? So we do do amazing cards. Yeah, but I mean, your time has come, Debbie. I think we need to get you oh, on the board. Oh, I think my time must have come, sure. So it's just who is it? You are not got off the mark yet. Bernie isn't off the mark yet, Iris. We need to get you both uh, on. Remember, of course, uh, next Sunday will be the first of our brand new soft crafting shows, which will be here every uh, Sunday for you at midday, which is going to be awesome. Because, of course, a new schedule uh, starts on Monday, uh, which is fantastic. There's also other exciting news coming up that I know you guys uh, are going to love on Monday too. So you're going to make sure you need to join Ben for that first show uh, at midday here in the UK, which will be 7 a.m. Uh, on East Coast. Uh, it will be Ben and Craig uh, here with Wake Up Call for you, which is fantastic. Uh, and then, of course, our next show after that will be 3 p.m. every day in the UK, which is 10 a.m. East Coast time. And then our final show of the day will be between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. So that will be uh, 2 p.m. East Coast time. Uh, and through till 4 p.m. East Coast time. So we're with you all day, which is awesome. So you can see, Joe, when I bring that in, it fits exactly in Beautiful. the background. So Love it's just that. giving us a bit different. So I'm just going to be sticking these into place, Joe, if you so want like, to be showing anything else. It's not paper piecing, is it? It's kind of paper something. Yeah, I don't it's know. not paper piecing. Paper at masking. All. Can we call it that? Masking. We could call it that, yeah. Absolutely. Paper masking. Quick, get it trademarked. Um, <laughs> Uh, I want to share with you the pictures that you guys have been sending in of your finished products. Do you want to see some, Debbie, oh, while you're doing I that? Would, honestly, I'd love that. I didn't even know that people were sending in pictures. That would be amazing. Absolutely. Let's share with you some of those then. Uh, now, this is one that Betty has made. Not the craft long, but I mean, it is absolutely 
Gorgeous, Betty. I love oh, that. Oh, that is beautiful. Really yes, nice. absolutely. Donna Mijo has been crafting along with us. She's done the card style. She's mixed it up a little bit, though, which I love. Oh, I love that. Yes, yeah, so you've used a different creating card, but it works beautifully well. Uh, papers are lovely that you've used as well there, Donna. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Absolutely really love lovely. I love what Terry's done with hers. Look at this. I mean, it's oh, absolutely wow. That's beautiful. beautiful. Pops a happy birthday sentiment in there. I think it's really lovely. Works very well. Well, Dawn's chosen to do a half version, which I think works equally well. Oh, as absolutely. The half ones are really good. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. Really, really oh, nice. They're stunning. Awesome. Uh, they are all fantastic. Keep getting them. Well, actually, don't keep getting them in now. If you haven't yet finished or you're just about to finish, you haven't sent a picture in yet, save it and pop it across to myself and Debbie when we do the Craft Vault second instalment. Uh, that'll be coming up at 7 p.m. later today, 2 o'clock if you are on the East Coast. So that'll give you an opportunity to send it in then. How are you getting on over there, Debbie? Well, do you know what, Joe? It's like a paper puzzle i've like done these pieces and then i've got to try and find where they where i've got them from but i think we're getting there so you're awesome. seeing the drift so uh, i've got a um i have got a finish card to show in fact i've done the finished one in a different color uh because just to show how pretty they look when you do them in uh, different colors i think that's that we go that way must be the edge, or is it that way? <laughs> it's like it's like a puzzle, Joe. It is a puzzle, isn't it? Yeah, it is a puzzle. Yeah. So it's just pop that one in, and then oh, do you know what, Joe? I probably didn't put any um, dots on that one because it's not sticking. So did I put some down there? Yeah, we did it on that one and not the other one. So just pop that one into place on there. Probably not put that perfectly well, but you'll excuse me as we are rushing just to make sure we get the finished ones done. Um, yeah, that must be the right way, Joe. but I, don't, I haven't cut that very well. But never mind. Never mind. There we go. Awesome. And I love then the what we're going to do is just add a piece of acetate underneath that will keep it all together. And then I've got some ribbon. So we're just going to tie our ribbon around the card. Nearly went into song there, Joe, around the old oak tree. Oh, absolutely. I love that song. Lost my, lost my ribbon. Let's just use our tape pen to pop our acetate around. And there we go. It's funny, isn't it? Because it's nearly every show there's some song that something reminds you of that you go into a song with. Pop that into place. I'm just popping it on the other side so I then know when I place that down, that will fit perfectly. And it holds all your sort of die cuts there in. Then we're going to tie our ribbon. Are we doing okay for time? Yeah. Well, we are just oh, out are of time. Oh, are we going? Are we going out of time? Look, let's quickly time a bow. Oh, a and super speedy bow time there. There we go. That's that one. And then I'll show you it in our finished one. I've just added a sentiment. But you can see in two different colours how beautiful they actually look. So, yeah. Really lovely. Awesome. Well, I've really enjoyed this, Debbie. I think I've had a lovely, lovely time. Make sure you join us tomorrow for craft class at 1 p.m. if you want to see how to make uh, a box or an envelope that that project will go into. Uh, any questions, I know Debbie will pop those dimensions on her Facebook page, Debbie Fisher, Crafts Companion, after the show as well. Don't forget, if you want to do this but you don't yet own these products, it is not too late. Pop yourself over to the website, have a look at the collections that are available, craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Click that Shop the Show button, you'll see everything you need. Now, we have got an hour turnaround before we have a very exciting Knitwits Craft House show with myself and Craig. So I will see you then. Take care.